What's up, YouTube peeps out in YouTube land? You already know this is your girl Bernadette Perkins, and I'm coming back with a reaction video on Let's. Y'all may not know who Let's is. Let's is, um, she's the ex cook slash girlfriend of CJ. So cool. So anyway, before I do. Before I do, before I do, get into this video, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, click the like button, thumb button, you know, make it work, make it do what it do. Let's get this video up to like 2 or 3k, you get what I'm saying, and I really, really appreciate it. Not only that, drop your comments if you know what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, just keep them moving. Just keep them moving and just throw me some yellow hearts. I really, really appreciate it. Y'all have such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, and a blissful night. So let's get ready to get into this video. Okay? Give me a minute. Give me a second. Give me a minute. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my spiritual kings. A few moments later. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to pause for right there because I want to speak on that. Let me get my suit together. I wish my grandbaby would come in here and be like, Granny, what you doing? So I can tell them to cut this silly van off. <laughs> what we got kids for, right? They are, they are our uh, remote control. Okay. So anyway, y'all heard royalty said herself. Royalty Nation. Na Is it Royalty Nation? Royal National? Royal to something. Y'all go over there and check it out. I have it ready for you at the end of the video. And you can go ahead and check out this lady here as well. Um, that I'm going to be reacting on. So y'all go over there and see what the rumble is all about. Because hey, I'm not going to play the whole entire video. But anyway, Royalty and um, CJ are co-parenting. There are two twins. I remember when she was pregnant with those twins. I remember even when she had those twins. That's how long I've been watching these people out here on these YouTube street, right? So he, his cook became his lover, okay? I'm going to say it again. His cook became his lover. Um, but <laughs> Royal did trick him. I'm going to say it. Trick no good, baby, as Tommy would say. She did trick him into um, saying what she wanted to hear. See, she called Letsy, which is supposed to be CJ so cool girlfriend. She call her the maid, right? And that's a long story and I can't get into it in this little short brief, right? But anyway, but CJ clarified and said, Hey, she's the cook. He made it clear, hey, this ain't my girl. I ain't claiming her. But Lindsay felt as if they was in a relationship. She thought CJ was her man. That's what he led her to be. That's what he led her to think that he was her man. All the while, he wasn't. He won't let us. He he won't royalty back. He won't royalty and those kids back. He want to live up on the one roof again. But nah, royalty is not gonna fall for it. She's not gonna fall for the banana t in the tailpipe. Y'all remember that on um. Y'all know what I'm saying. But anyway, let's get to the video. That young lady's not falling for it. She's not going to be tricked back into the hands of CJ So Cool so he can put her in the kid's eye so he can come out here and say that, oh, Royalty wanted me back and she this is why she came back. Then not only that, you got Nike going to be interfering with it. Then you got Kamari, his daughter, still there. So it's just going to be a whole bunch of mess. So let's get into this video a little bit because poor let's say over there crying, TJ. TJ, CJ had really crumbled her little heart, but hey, check this out, I was reading some comments, right, and um, one of the young ladies was like, oh, you was over there laughing when CJ was dogging out Nike, oh, you was over there laughing when CJ was dogging out royalty, but his heart is with royalty, that boy loved him some royalty, because royalty was there for him when he wasn't working, she was working and taking care of him, her two kids at the time, uh, no, her three kids at the time while she was living with her mother. But anyway, I don't want to spill all the tea. Let's get to it. Hello, everyone. Um, 
everyone. Yes, I can't believe I am doing this, but I am. Um, it's just gone too far, and I feel like I'm just too good of a person to, like, just keep silent. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get into this. Um, I'm gonna try not to cry <laughs> as much as I can. She already crying. Just bear with me, and I'm just gonna say my piece. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna do my best, but I'm just gonna continue being the good person that I've always been. I had to go get a roll of toilet paper because I don't have tissue. I normally don't cry. Yeah, so I am here and I have my journal here because I want to make sure I touch base on all the points. You know, like when you're in an argument and after the argument it all simmers down and you're just sitting there in bed thinking, of, dang, I should have said this, dang, I should have said this, dang, I should have said this. I won't feel like that because I have it all written down. Listen. I appreciate the support that everyone has given me through everything. They have always been there for me. Y'all, I love you guys. Um, this is the only video you will get out of me um, talking about any past situations. This is the only video, but I just really try to collaborate and make amends, which is totally fine because at the end of the day, they do have children together, and I will always understand that. But that doesn't mean me and the mother of the children need to communicate or make amends. Um, we can be cordial. I'm cordial with everyone. Uh, I would just always respect everyone's children no matter what. So I've always been like that from the jump, too. I think that's the very mature thing about me, being a 25-year-old. I have always been standoffish and let... 25 years old. No children. No husband, but she decided she want to be CJ hmm, Cook. Okay, I'll wait. I'm going to give y'all some time. I'm going to give you some time to think about it. Yeah, y'all see me in the background with the orange hair and my mouth open, my eyes blinking like, <laughs> that's me. I'm confused. Maybe y'all can help me out with this one, okay? Kind of everyone do their thing and me stay silent in most situations, but I just can't do that anymore. And to begin with, I'm going to make this very clear. Royalty, if you are watching this, I will not go back and forth with you. You are mentally hurting, physically hurting. I just will not argue with someone who is... Now, y'all help me out on this one as well. How is royalty mentally her team in my opinion and this is my opinion ladies and gentlemen my spiritual kings and queen i feel as yes royalty is hurting yes cj is hurting okay yes nike is hurting not only that listen you've been pulled into the black card situation and now you heard it if you never have hurt and i know you have heard it before and it, i mean it's not the end of you being hurt but look how cj pulled you into this shenanigan of his triangle with his two baby mother now you involved with it and now you heard it oh okay i'll wait i'll wait y'all almost 10 years older than me and i can't seem to wrap my head around why I would go back and forth with a mother of five who lives with their mother in a two-bedroom apartment. I think that's illegal. Hey, please, I don't know how the laws work over there where they live in, but if that's illegal, then the Mexican people is in big trouble because they've been doing it for years. Latino, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Jamaican, Haitian, Nigeria, Ganda. People been living with their family member for many, many years. We as people who we are, skin tone, we've been doing it for years. Family been living with family. That's nothing new for us. So how can she sit up here and say that it's illegal for royalty and her three kids to live with her own mother? Come on, let's. You just making false as as you know. You just making up false uh, things as you go. Let's let's get to it. But I just 
I just, we just can't compare each other, okay? It's like night and day. I just, we can't do it. I am not comparing myself to you. I will not go back and forth with you. It's like night and day. I just, we can't do it. I am not comparing myself to you. I will not go back and forth with you. To me, you are pure trash. You do the best you can, but it just is what it is. Why is royalty trash? Because let's apparently is pissed off because royalty have kids by the man that she thought that loved it her and a lot of people out here is calling cj narcissist okay it is what it is on that part right okay i understand i got the assignment but baby at the end of the day this girl got two kids by this man this girl is coming out on top this man still love this girl not just because she's the mother of his two twins. They have history together. They have grown together in a special way that Letza and him would never be able to do because he have succeeded and, and he's successful on his YouTube streets. He have money, but before then, on hand, royalty was the breadwinner in this relationship. Royalty wore the pants. Did y'all not know this boy was in the military? Don't know what happened. Did he get the chicken dinner? two-piece chicken dinner he walked away he didn't he didn't draw any kind of benefits he didn't put in no claims maybe he got kicked out for some apparent reason so he fell on hard times he couldn't live with his mother or his grandmother so royalty met him at a club once she met him at the club she took him home the first night royalty mother opened up her doors to let this man that her daughter met at the club move in with them they started their YouTube channel and they blew, they grew. Let me put it like that because YouTube kind of funny acting. They grew. They grew. And they grew and they grew and they grew. And that's, hey baby, I'm not saying CJ ain't getting views. I'm not saying Royce is not getting views. Both of them is getting views. Nike, I don't know what's going on with her. Um, this young lady here, let's see. Low Hammery, Low Hammer, L O H M I E R. She's getting views as well, okay? But CJ and Royalty, when they was together, they was doing their thing over there. Those kids, Royalty kids, is the reason why CJ is successful. Or, or, or CJ have the loop, the money, or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Because the name belongs to him. They're just like Ike and Tina. I say he won his name. It's his. It wasn't Tina. It was his. You feel where I'm coming from? So Lisa is hurt because CJ classified her as the cook. He did not make her the top notch, the queen of the household. Not so much of the household, but the relationship. That's what I can say. He didn't make her the, the queen of the relationship. He addressed her as his cook. And that to her up. This is why this girl making this video, okay? And this video is 27 minutes and 17 seconds. And I would not be playing the whole thing. Let's get it. I'm sorry, but it's just how I feel. So I pray for you and I hope you heal. Sure. I always cooked for him. Cooking is my love language. I love to cook, it's very therapeutic. The moment I just start chopping fruit and vegetables and cooking meat, it just puts me in like a focused state and it's therapeutic to me. I've always cooked for my man. It's not a bad thing. I mean, there's very successful chefs. Maybe I can go to chef school, but let me tell you this. This video, I am a Why is it that she just said, y'all, heard her just say, Oh, I cook for my man. But this man is not acknowledging saying that she was my woman. He said she was my cook, but she calling CJ her man. But CJ called her my cook. Okay, I'll wait. Let's get to it. Chef, I have a lot of recipes and I have a lot of receipts of things. I am the evidence queen. I am like legally blonde when it comes to this. Okay? So... 
Okay, now I'm starting to see something. I'm starting to picture this. I see a vision. I, I, I see some shit about to hit the fan. Let's about to get some shit started. Why I say that? Because I want I'm about to get ready to play something, and I want y'all to listen and and just listen, just listen, just listen. Then I'm gonna tell you why I feel the way I feel, and I'm saying what I'm about to say. This relationship. I have been thrown left or right. I have had disloyal shit happen to me. I have had this person send sexual text messages to my friends behind my back, DMs too, multiple times, and I've still forgiven this person. This person is CJ. She don't want to say the name. I see it for you. She talking about CJ so cool. Okay, he don't son. Did he been in other her friends DM? He been her her friends DM. He don't send sexual messages to her friend, and her friend sent it to her. But I think just enough is enough. You know, like when enough is enough, it's enough because it's enough. I'm almost speechless, which is why I had to write this down because being talking in front of a camera. Um, yeah, Hustle's crying in the background, and baby, I am crying too. You've seen it. I was mentally healed from my last relationship. I had been focusing on myself for a year, and I was ready to accept anyone that I met and liked. So when I met CJ, um, yes, it was a lot of drama. I have endured so much drama since the day I met him, since the day the internet found out about us. And I've always been in drama because I feel like I've been very popular and confident that people like to attack me and try to tear me down, but it's never worked. It's always just been in my favor, life in general. I've just been favored, highly favored. Yeah, and I've, I've just lived a blessed life even before meeting CJ. I had a lot of material things and material things I see don't mean shit to me anymore. And I know for CJ it doesn't mean shit to them because at the end of the day, when you have nothing, who is there for you? That's what this video is about. Okay. At the end of the day, when everything crumbles, who do you go to? And I am always that go-to person. And I think that's the problem about me is that I just randomly cry because I just can't. But it's not a problem, but it's something I need to work on. Mm -hmm. It's... I did this in my past relationship too is I just tend to forgive and I just forgive too much. When I love someone, I pour 110% into them. Well, stop and it. It's just my fault that I let myself slip away, but it's also my fault that I forgive so much. But I like to forgive and I don't like to just. So I'm assuming she gonna forgive CJ. Let me go a little bit farther, okay? Let me get out this weeping part, because I'm not doing the petty party with her. I just want to say what I wrote in my notes, because I really mean this. Not only do I go above and beyond for those that I love, but I show my love with... I don't want to hear that reading. Okay. What I do so much that he will want to give me the world. And I know it will be for me. These are just sometimes... Things just come into your life either as lessons or blessings. And I take CJ coming to my life as both. Going back to a few things, um, CJ has a very big issue with messaging my friends sexual things behind my back. Mm -hmm. November 13th of last. November 13th. Oh, CJ was getting it on. November 13th. Let me see what I got going on with my mic. Hope it's working. But anyway, let's get to this video. Hope that it's working. I'll find out in a minute. Here, he did it. Um, my friend reached out to me, letting me know right away. And I'm just blessed to have her as a friend because there are shicey people out there and people do go behind your back. I'm so thankful for her loyalty and so thankful she told me because, you know, it's just, you want to know things. You want to know what someone, <laughs> I sleep with this person every night in bed. I want to know if they're doing something disloyal to me, you know? Emotionally cheated behind my back. Mm -hmm. Talking sexual um, is, I'm so, baby, and this is what I want to know. 
And I mean, this is for all women, including myself. You know, when you dating somebody and they do something to you and to get with another person. No, no, no. Let me back it up. Let me backtrack because I'm about, I'm losing my minutes. I got to add on some more minutes here. But when you know the relationship that a person just got out of it was toxic because due to the fact. Hold on. Okay, now I got to start all over again. Now, like I was saying, okay, say for instance, right? <clears throat> Ronya T and CJ kicked it for a long time, for I think like 10 years. Let's it came into the picture, correct? Now, CJ have ran the story on Let's it, his part. He don't tell his side of the story. So he don't already inform Let's it how toxic his relationship was with royalty. But you want to still be in a relationship with a person just got out of a relationship with someone else and it was toxic for them. What make you think he's not going to do those same things to you? That go for anybody. For me, you, and whoever. If I go to a man and I tell this man how my marriage was so toxic, trust and believe is a part, it's, it's another side to it. But also, that was just part of how I felt. This is the other part. You want to take a chance and believe you can change a person. Can you change a person? Probably so, of course. Why not? If they want to be changed. If they don't want to be changed, then it's not going to happen. Like I was saying, if they want to be changed, they'll change. But it's up to them. You cannot change nobody. A person would want to have to change themselves in a relationship. So, let's see knew what type of man she was getting. She knew what type of man she was going to be dealing with. And I think what broke the camera back is when she heard CJ say, that's my cook, not my lover, not my woman, not my queen, not my girlfriend, nothing. She's my cook. That's it, and that's all. So he trying to clarify and let royalty know that, hey, I haven't did anything with this woman. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.